Hey, how's it going guys? This is Salmon 117 and I'm doing and happy Halloween everyone. Uh, I'm not unfortunately I'm not dressed as anything because uh, in Latvia people don't celebrate Halloween as in other places like uh, maybe Germany or other places like that like we do kind of celebrate it but it's not as a, like a, a huge holiday that people are just go dressing up as uh, whatever and it, and anyways uh, sorry about not making videos for a lo for a while again because uh like i said i have responsibilities outside of my home and now we have to take care of dog in like t 24 7 i have to go downstairs to take care of my dog so she doesn't chew everything now she has that she has a habit of like jumping on tables stealing uh, some papers and stuff like that and trying to eat them and it's really annoying and uh, because of that i cannot like leave even leave the damn house or <laughs> I can't even leave the damn house to go to the grocery the, the grocery store because in Latvia dogs are not allowed in stores and the other one is just basically my dog is just gonna create chaos if I leave her alone inside the house for like a few seconds and yeah anyways uh, today's topic I originally wanted to talk about a very interesting topic about gaming consoles I used to play but because of how shitty the weather is recently and because now it's Halloween I think it's more appropriate talk for me to talk about horror and let's talk about horror for those who don't know horror for me is like for horror genre basically movies and games for me it's like Part of me loves it, loves the genre. Part of me is like kind of debatable, debated on the whole thing because uh, on one hand I love playing it, uh, but on the other hand sometimes I very I am way too scared to continue playing the game or just basically even when I look at the cover of the game or look at the game in general, like for example, um, like for example. Silent Hill 3, uh, I when I look at the game, I'm just like, I'm too fucking chicken shit to play the game. Now, for those of you who don't know, I do not hate the horror genre. I actually beat the other previous Silent Hill games, Silent Hill 1 on the PS3, I bought the digital game on from PlayStation Network, and uh, Silent Hill 2 on PS2. So yeah, for, all the, for those who don't know, I have... And I think it's kind of lucky for me. I have Silent Hill 2, uh, the, the, the director's cut, and Silent Hill 3 on the PlayStation 2. Now, I know they released the HD collection for the PS3 for these games, but I repeat, do not, and I mean do not buy the HD collection for the PS3, because it is a botched up version, it's a botched up version of the of the original PS2 games. So if you guys want to play Silent Hill One and uh, Silent Hill Two and Three, then buy them on the try buying them on the PS2 or the or the original Xbox or the or, or try to get the original PC versions of those games uh, or just emulate them, but uh, or emulate the original games. But th that that's just my opinion. But when it comes to horror. Uh, how I was introduced with the horror and that game what that the game that introduced me to survival horror game genre was Resident Evil 2 and and ever since I watched uh, my friend play the game on the PS1 I was so fucking scared of everything anything horror related uh, or something like something to do with gore or stuff like that like the movie Saw the original Saw movies and uh, and uh, anything horrorly like The Shining or stuff like that or even the movies like Jaws or stuff like that and uh, for the longest time I was not the biggest fan of it but when I reached the age of 13 uh, or age reached the age of 12 or 13 I watched the first Silent Hill film and I'm like 
you know what? It wasn't as bad as I thought. And then that was also back when YouTube allowed to why YouTube wasn't so strict with the with its stupid copyright laws. Speaking of YouTube, want to know something more scary? Now your channel is gonna get uh, deleted if you use adblock. Now, thanks YouTube, you're doing you're doing such great service on uh, on the on the YouTube community. That's sarcasm, by the way. God damn it, man. YouTube, like I said, YouTube is just getting worse and worse, and it's just fucking ridiculous. And uh, nobody's at home. My mom and dad took my, our puppy to, uh, like, a dog school so she could be more, so she could learn to behave better. Because, let's just say, our new puppy is not the brightest dog in the world. And, like I said, Enough about that. Um, I'm just getting off topic here. Uh, and then when it comes to horror, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just check out some horror films and stuff like that. And the one, the one, fi the one thing that got me into horror, and the one thing that got me into horror, and the horror game or horror or horror genre in general. Uh, I also played the games like Amnesia on PC, and I, I still haven't beaten the game because uh, I actually started to play to play the game as a playthrough on this channel, but I haven't continued because now I have trouble with recording softwares, and my laptop sounds like it's it's barely hanging on and life support, and I still need to like um save up money to buy new a new laptop or basically a gaming laptop in general so yeah uh and recording gaming videos is not is not easy like some games do work well on re while recording a video but sometimes but some of them do not and i apologize if i haven't continued doing like amnesia videos or something like that but um because of amnesia like stuff like that or youtubers like Beep. PewDiePie, <laughs> I apologize, but uh, because of PewDiePie, I was got, got, gotten into like horror genre and stuff like that, but there, there was one game, uh, I still haven't gotten the chance to fully play it because of hardware limitations back in the day and because of low uh, money issues, um, there was one game that actually got me into horror genre in general, and what that game might be, you might be asking, and... Well, you you know them, you love them, Dead Space, the original Dead Space game. If it wasn't for this game, I would not be into horror, the swell horror genre in general. Basically, uh, horror genre in general. <laughs> I keep mixing up because uh, when I think of swell horror, it's basically games. But when it comes to like regular horror, it's basically movies and or shows. I don't know. Um, but if it wasn't for the original Dead Space game, I would not be into horror genre as I am now. And uh, because of Dead Space, uh, Dead Space is still one of my favorite survival horror games ever. They even remade the game uh, recently, the, the original game. But, uh, like I said, since because of the hardware limitations, I could not play this game for a while. And because I didn't have the... Like Xbox 360 consoles or the PS3s or whatever, I could or a laptop that can even run the damn damn thing um, or a computer in general. Uh, I was res I resorted to watching playthroughs of of the original Dead Space game, and for those who don't know, uh, when I was in elementary school, I was bullied for liking Dead Space. I am not kidding. I was bullied the fuck out of it. Like, I heard the news about the Dead Space 2, uh, you know, the sequel of the original Dead Space game. Um, I need to get a copy of the game. Um, to show you guys, um, I apologize if I uh, get up and uh, take my discs out. Um, uh, my PS3 collection is like at the very top of the of the shelf, so I have to get up and get those uh, things. While the PS2, is, I could just sit back and take a game out. Basically, Dead Space 2 was coming out in 2011. I was really excited because I was really like, 
the original Dead Space game, the original Dead Space game actually gave me legit nightmares after watching the full playthrough of this game, and I could not sleep well for two weeks, but I still kept on watching the game, uh, enjoying it, uh, even to this day I feel, still find uh, Dead Space uh, a scary a scary game, especially in, uh, in certain chapters, like uh, chapter uh, chapter five, uh, where you first meet the regenerator. Um, uh, what else? Chapter nine, where you first encounter the Twitchers, the, probably the scariest enemy ever. And then later, after chapter nine, I think it was chapter ten, where there's very a very creepy atmosphere. Honestly, like there's like you still you're getting hunted by. Uh, the hunter in one of the lab in one of the parts of the chapter and it's like dude that like always when I see that part I'm like oh shit and I always pause the game and I'm like dude I need to do this quickly if I don't do it I am gonna get killed and it's like it's really like a uh, hard pounding and I still find the virtual Dead Space game a scary game of course uh, Dead Space 2 is more action focused than the first game but uh, it still has some really good horror elements as well especially when you go you know spoilers for 2011 game where you go back to the usg ishimura and i'm i was really surprised they actually brought the ishimura back on uh the you know the the spacecraft from the first game into the second game it kind of like explains how the net necromorph outbreak started uh all over again, like they brought, they tried to recreate the marker, and then of course they brought the the USG Ishimura, where you know where all the co where the all the colon colony miners and stuff like that got killed off on the on the on the space on the mine space mining deck. I I apologize, I'm still recovering from the cold. But um, Dead Space 2 was a really anticipated game, but people always, uh, I always watch trailers and stuff like that, I was like really excited about this game, but it, like I said, I could not, still not play it because of like, hardware limitations, and because I didn't have the consoles, like I said, Xbox 360s and PS3s, because one, my parents said gaming, and the other, and the other one is the fact that we could not afford these new consoles, because gaming has gotten more expensive, more, uh, then it, of course, gaming, uh, gaming is more expensive it is nowadays than it was back then. But still, uh, sixty dollars or sixty euros for a game, it I was it was a pretty pricey. Like I said, I live in a small country, so we could not afford everything. We we can't afford everything we can, uh, and we still have to pay for bills and stuff like that. And it's kind of crazy. But like I said, I was bullied the fuck out fuck out of for liking Dead Space and Spider Man, and it's just like really stupid and. It kind of shows how my life hasn't been that great, uh, especially in my younger years. Uh, it's still not that great, but uh, I'm trying to move on and keep going strong to actually move on. And uh, and when it comes to horror, basically, uh, I got really into it. Like I, my first uh, horror game I actually bought on physical media was. Uh, so of course, Silent Hill 2. This is a copy I bought from Amazon, but that was uh, kind of recently, kind of, short of, sort of. I I can't remember. I had to look up online where when when did I buy this uh, copy of the game? But I remember getting a an older copy, the regular version of Silent Hill 2. But it was the fake copy, as you guys know. I, when I did my video of talking about fake games. Uh, I had a fake copy of Silent Hill 2, I, and I could not get past uh, the the freaking uh, hospital level because of all because uh, one of the um, numbers or one of the like like if you if you guys don't know about Silent Hill or basically Resident Evil or whatever, basically you find notes where there's kind of like. Um, um, like a riddle or something like that and tells you about like a code to do a safe or something like that or a puzzle and uh, there was a and I found a note but all the numbers for one of the codes uh, basically I had to open up like this like a, like a mystery box that is like next to 
Marie next to Maria's uh, like holding cell or whatever, and and one of the and one of, I could not get the code because and I could not get past the like the like the what was it uh, the the hospital level because of the stupid glitch of the fake copy. So yeah. Uh, it kind of sucked, so after many years I bought the actual official copy of the game, the director's cut, uh, and I was able to finally beat the game. And I still had a hard time uh, fully beating it because how scary it is, especially in the later levels, like the prison level and the hotel, like Jesus Christ, and... And I completely went uh, blind on these games because I'm trying my best not to spoil myself with them. Even though I spoil myself with games like uh, Dead Space or Resident Evil 4. But, um, but, but like I said, a bit hardware limitations, I could not play many horror games. Like, I played some horror games, like I said, I played Amnesia, but I haven't fully finished the game. Like, there are some horror games I haven't fully, fully finished, but there are some I have. Like, like I said, I beat uh, Silent Hill 1 and 2. My first Resident Evil game was Resident Evil 4 on the PS2. And then the first Dead Space games, I beat Dead Space 3, even though Dead Space 3 kind of went overboard with, uh, you know, the... With, kind of went overboard with, with the whole action shooter stuff because EA being idiots and Viscroll being just completely cancelled. Of course, uh, after a while I got used to horror stuff. Um, recently, my favorite horror genre is the Alien franchise, the, the first two Alien films. Um, I even bought... Um, I even bought uh, a really good Alien game, and that is Alien Isolation on the PS3. I have it on Steam, but the game is super laggy. I actually remember playing, uh, like I said, because of hardware limitations, I could not play Alien. I could not play Alien Isolation properly on on my laptop because how big the game is and how laggy it was. Uh, it was not playable for me. Like I said, I really need to invest my money on uh, on a gaming computer and uh, try to find a, jo a decent job where I could earn uh, enough money to actually uh, save up for the la gaming laptop. But for now, it's uh, it's gonna take a while. But overall, Alien Isolation, I remember. Uh, playing one of the levels and I was playing in a complete darkness. I was just like uh, I had headphones on and it was a completely different experience and Yeah, and this game is really scary. Honestly, it is really fucking terrifying but I remember my mom just walked into my room like and she, and the way she saw me like fidgeting uh, like really scared being really scared to play a game and she just like I saw her like laugh about it and I just uh, like and uh, and I was like and I had this like mindset of um when I looked at my mom I I gave her a look like yeah uh, I like to see you tr uh, not to get scared of a game where the alien where the alien chases you and has a very smart AI but overall, I still have this game on the PS3. I know it's not the best version to play, but uh, since I have a PS3 and they released the game on the console, honestly, it runs pretty well. But playing a uh, playing a FPS game uh, with with um, with with a controller is a bit is a bit challenging, honestly, especially games like this. So I haven't touched the game for a while, but hopefully I will probably someday get back into it. But I have to read up the controls. Like, and remember manuals, guys. Like, remember when when you played the game. Basically, what the game is like. Oh yeah, we have manuals. We're gonna tell you about how to play the game. Um, yeah, controls. Let's see. Oh my god, I love how also this is like Valen, Yutani, or whatever uh, singing. Gilling your satanics, ensuring your safety instruction manual. Yeah, like, th like that is some old school shit. Um, so yeah, there it is. Um, the menu, kind of weird, but at least it showed the, 
to sh show the control show the controls here and I found found that interesting. I oh honestly I personally miss manuals game manuals because uh, uh, because for those who don't know, I have a very terrible memory and when I haven't played uh, a certain game for a really long time, uh, when I pick it up again, I have to look up uh, the instruction book uh, to actually remember how the controls work and how to play the game properly. So yeah, uh, but overall, Alien Isolation is a great game, but I haven't continued playing it on the PS3, like I said. Uh, playing on console is a bit uh, hard than on PC because of how smart the alien AI is. I actually died a lot from human AI because the stealth in this game is kind of... Especially against like human enemies, it's not that great honestly. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe I've sucked at the game or whatever. There's even a... There's even a crazy achievement on for Alien Isolation where you have to beat the entire game without dying once. Without dying once. Sorry, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a masochist, man. Oh my god! But uh, Alien Isolation, I might go back to. I want to. I, was, I the, the game I really want to beat is uh, the game I actually want to beat is continue playing and beat a Silent Hill Three. Despite how terrifying the game is, I actually really enjoy it because. Uh, despite how turf because what's the point of horror game if it's not scary? Like there's another game I actually got from Netherlands, and it's kind of like a ho action horror, but I haven't continued playing it. Like I only played like one level, mostly pr tried to test if the game works or not, and it's the suffering. Uh, for those who don't know, um, there was a game recently came out that was called Callisto Protocol. And unfortunately, it wasn't that great. I, me personally, I was looking forward to it, but unfortunately, after watching certain reviews, it's not that great. It's basically like another, like a cinematic game, and it's not that scary. Like, um, I think uh, Callisto Protocol took a lot of inspirations from the suffering, but I feel like this is more better, like a pr better uh, horror game set in a prison like setting uh, than. Alien Isolation. Hell, I even find, uh, and this might actually piss off some people, I did buy, I did buy a game called Silent Hill Downpour on the PS3. Now for me, personally, it's not that bad of a game. It's not really scary, honestly, but uh, at the same time, I feel like uh, this is more like an updated version for the PlayStation 3. Uh, it more it's, it was more patched, and I feel like the story is really good. Uh, a lot of puzzles actually, uh, a lot of the puzzles in the Silent Hill Downpour are also really good. And overall, I just like I don't feel like this is the worst game I ever, worst Silent Hill game I ever played, but it's st certainly not the best for me. Uh, the best Silent Hill game I played is Silent Hill Two, but I still haven't beat Silent Hill Three. But overall, I feel like. Uh, when it comes to Silent Hill games, um, I just I, I don't find this game the worst Silent Hill game to be ever made. I feel like uh, the creators uh, for this game, I think, it, what was, what were the creators? Um, I think, yeah, it only says Konami. I there was another there was a different developer. Konami basically published it, but there was a different developer. Who worked on this game. Watching the trailers of Silent Hill Downpour, it made me really excited because I feel like it felt like the developers for Silent Hill Downpour actually felt like they knew what they were doing. They wanted to make a, a really good Silent Hill experience uh, for for the new generation, for new generation of consoles. But because of Konami being like, you we need to rush this shit, so they could not patch the game or completely finish it, and it turned out the way it did. Um, but overall, um, I just feel like uh, it's not the worst Silent Hill game ever made. I, what do you guys think of Silent Hill Downpour? I, for those who actually played it, I, f I, I find the game not, 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 not as bad as um, many people make it out to be. But overall, horror... <coughs> my apologies, I'm talking way too much without pausing. Oh my god. I just want to do okay, end this video as quickly as possible before my dog and my family arrive back. But overall, um, yeah, horror games. 
I still enjoy them, uh, there's some really good charm to them, and I feel like a lot of horror games have really good stories, especially if, if they are made by people that know what exactly what they are doing, and, um, and I feel like uh, horror games in general, especially for older consoles, like the, especially for the PS2 or even PS1, I feel like are, we're done so much better than how they are handled being nowadays. Nowadays, way too many horror games just either either take an existing franchise or try to remake it, or um, or just basically just not make it scary and turn it into another cinematic. Cinematic masterpiece or whatever, or just having characters slowly walk away or whatever. Like, uh, I don't know, man. Like, horror genres nowadays are just not that great for me. Uh, I think in, in recent, in way too many years, we had way too many like run and hide games because of the popularity of Nisha. And, uh, but overall, we slowly are getting like uh, horror, survival, actual survival horror games where you, when you actually can use. Use guns and actually defend yourself, but very, but they have very, but they have very limited resources, and and I hope that run and hide uh, game mechanic is gonna die off soon. But overall, I just feel like we need more horror games, like uh, we need more horror survival horror games, like uh, uh, Silent Hill Three or or aforementioned. Uh, aforementioned Dead Space, no, we, of course we get remakes, uh, uh, I'm kind of like mixed on the re whole remake thing, like, on one hand, it's cool to be getting these remakes for older games, uh, or, or reboots or whatever, but on the other hand, I feel like there's, um, there's a certain charm to the older games that they compare to the remakes, like, I feel like, f for example, I feel, I still find the original Dead Space game a really good game, and I feel like it didn't really need it, I feel like it did, it really didn't need a remake, and uh, they made some really, they made some changes, there are some good on the remake, and some of them are not that good, but, um, but that's just my own personal opinion, if you, if you watching this enjoy the Dead Space remake, uh, good, f good for you, but that's just my own personal opinion, uh, you don't have to take it too hard, uh, uh, about my own, uh, like, personal opinion about how I feel about uh, remakes or reboots or whatever. But overall, um, yeah, that's the whole video. I just wanted to talk about it because, you know, it's the theme of Halloween and I feel, I felt like it was a really appropriate. I want to do more, I wanted to do more an interesting video, like show some gameplay footages, but, uh, like I said, uh, uh, it's kind of hard to do them, uh, especially because it will take way too long to actually edit the video, and yeah. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but tell me in the comments what you think about the horror genre in general, and yeah, and this is Lime 17 signing off.